let me clarify, I didn't write a single line of this code either. I used Rails scaffolds and Ader. Well, it's been all over the news. I'll be honest with you, I didn't really know who uh, Marquess Brownlee was before this whole thing happened. I think I'd heard his name before and I was vaguely familiar uh, that he had reviewed electronics and uh, other technology things. So apparently he has a really big platform and he launched a new app. It's called Panels. And as you can see, the publicity has not been kind to him with the release of this app. Um, listen, I don't have an opinion about the guy one way or the other. I haven't used the app, but I thought I'd jump on the bandwagon and use this as an opportunity to show you just how easy it is to prototype a new application with Rails. So let's go over to the code. There we are. So uh, we have the basic elements of this thing. Rails has always had great scaffolding facilities that have always been a hallmark of its efficiency. Well, I'm going to show you how you can use Claude Sonnet using this tool Ader, which is similar to Cursor, but it just runs in your terminal. And uh, you can throw gasoline on that fire of efficiency and really crank up how fast you can crank out these apps. So I created this app in like five or ten minutes, and I'm going to show you how right now. Like these are pretty much all the commands uh, right here. So you can see uh, Rails new particle board is what I called it. It's the panels app that gives you splinters. I don't know. The point here was to move quickly, uh, not to have a marketable name. So we've got the partic particle board app generated with my Rails Quest template. Uh, and I added the account controller. Uh, actually, I added the accounts controller. I forgot the S. Uh, you can see it's very easy to uh, destroy. If you make a mistake, you can... This Here's a quick Rails tip. Rails destroy controller account. So that was the typo one. And then I just commit everything. And, and that's pretty much it as far as the manual commands that I issued. Let me clarify, I didn't write a single line of this code either. I used Rails scaffolds and Ader. So let's go to the top. I'll show you the prompt that I used. I added the files to its context, the index and application and the Tailwind config. And I said, create a home page for an app that allows users to download iPhone wallpapers. And I just added plain, plain English that came to mind to describe it. All right. Apply this theme to the new sessions page. Does it get any easier than that? So you can see me adding and dropping pages from the context as I uh, refine the look and feel of the app. Okay, there's not enough contrast, so I tell it to go back and redesign it. Uh, add a nav header. So here's what you get. Boom. iPhone wallpapers. It gets them from uh, Unsplash or, or one of those placeholder sites. I didn't even double check where it gets them from, it, but it's one of the placeholder sites. And you have an account. You can manage your account, change your password, all that stuff. It all works. I didn't bother designing it, but it does work. Uh, and I could easily, as you saw, have the AI design it for me. So this is all without writing a single line of code. This is using a couple Rails generator commands and some commands issued to Ader and also my knowledge of, you know, what, what files would it actually need access to to get this done. And that is it. And you could deploy this. I could deploy this today, and people would be able to download iPhone wallpapers. So just to kind of close out and summarize, Rails is super fast, and you end up with an app, the, a code base that is proven. It's built on a proven technology that's been deployed in applications large and small, uh, startups of all stripes. You could just integrate a gem for Stripe here and accept payments. You could market it to artists and have them pay to put wallpapers on here. I could do that. I could launch it today. The possibilities are endless. So I just wanted to demonstrate the power of Rails and show you how you know you you could do this. You could easily do this and have an app, a wallpaper sharing app that looks exactly the way you want it to look. 
So I encourage you to do that. Let me know how it goes if you did. Please like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and I'll see you again next time.